Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel with you. Hope you're having a pleasant day or a night, regardless of where you are worldwide. Uh, this is going to be a cutting edge program and I'm hoping that uh, hundreds of thousands of people can benefit from this. We are streaming worldwide via the web right now as notifications are going out in our chat room, but I'll continue about uh, fixing tin tinnitus, tinnitus, whatever you like to call it, people call it differently. A major breakthrough of research that I've went through that uh, I think that there are many things that we can do to help this problem and save. There's a lot of people out there as we get older, people get this high ringing, high buzzing, high pitch. Uh, I know what it's like uh, and it, it's, it's quite annoying and it can be uh, frustrating and you can run to uh, many different doctors and ENTs and internists and do MRIs and neurologists and you get nothing back uh, of any information that, that will help you. Uh, we can go to audiologists, they can check our ears and the majority of people who have tinnitus or ringing in the ears are considered normal hearing and the imbalance or the altered hearing that they may have falls outside the normal everyday hearing pattern of what is considered the norm. So I want to go over uh, some very important things. Uh, this is something, as we talk about, quite annoying, quite loud. Many people get it differently at different times of the day. Pitch is higher, lower, ringing. It can alternate ears. It can wake you up. It can make you frustrated, okay? Uh, this is something uh, that uh, can cause pain in the ears just from the tinnitus. Now, there are many things out there, and you, if you go through my channel on tinnitus ringing in the ears, you'll see many of my videos. Uh, if you look through my videos on eustachian tube dysfunction, uh, there are many ways of correcting tinnitus if it is your eustachian tubes. Uh, but most cases of tinnitus or tinnitus comes from the brain. Now, when I say comes from the brain, that means that it's not the inner ear or the eustachian tube causing it, but is there's an alteration of the brain communicating with the inner ear and the messages get disrupted. And so you hear this hissing or this shh, this sound, it gets worse certain times of the day. You'll notice that when you're in sound, you can seem to get by when people are around talking. But when it's quiet, it's very, very difficult. It can make you crazy, affects your sleep. Uh, many people out there uh, will put white noise on, but I'm gonna show you something that I'm hoping this is gonna make a big dent in you. Let's go, let's move to the fun stuff. Okay, uh, the one thing that we're concerned about in the body, regardless of what condition you have, I don't care what condition it is, any type of condition, our objective is to find homeostasis. Now, if you don't know what homeostasis is, homeostasis is a balance within the organism. In other words, when we're out of balance, uh, as the uh, Eastern philosophers and doctors talk about chi, when the energy is off or the yin-yang is off, uh, we get more energy in one area and less in another area, and it alters the system and causes symptoms. Uh, but in Western medicine, instead of just searching for a, a symptom and trying to correct it with a drug because drugs have side effects, we're going to have potential uh, side effects and other symptoms that's going to react from that drug. But when it comes down to homeostasis, my objective today is to teach you how to find that homeostasis. And when you find and are able to achieve homeostasis, you are going to help your body with any symptom. Now, why am I picking tinnitus? Uh, because I found something quite astonishing that I'm going to share with you. Uh, let's move on. The first thing I want to talk about is the, if you see the sympathetic and parasympathetic, people don't know about this, but if you do, this is part of the autonomic nervous system. This is controlled by the central nervous system. And there's two pieces to the autonomic nervous system. The sympathetic is what the fight or flight system is, like your heartbeat races, your blood pressure increases, your pupils dilate. You can look on the left. Um, and the parasympathetic is what we're after. This is what we're after. Uh, there is a, a very important nerve called cranial nerve 10 called the vagus nerve. And if you go through the studies and you search the internet, 
they're already stimulating the vagus nerve through many different conditions to help relax the system. Now, I want you to know the vagus nerve, uh, if I come over here, the vagus nerve is the lo longest, largest nerve out of all the cranial nerves. There are 12 cranial nerves. The vagus nerve uh, supplies the most critical, most important areas of our entire body. It affects the heart. It regulates the heart. It, it regulates the lungs and the breathing. It regulates the intestines. It regulates all these different organs. So 75% of really all the autonomic system is working through this vagus nerve. This vagus nerve, they have found, correlates back to tinnitus or tinnitus. So what does that mean? Well, that means uh, that when we look at that vagus nerve, uh, we wonder how or how important it is. What it does, it calms the system down. Now, the if you notice that your doctors, your therapists or neurologists have always said, relax, get your sleep. Uh, make sure you rest. Make sure you're not under stress. Because in any disease or any problem, stress always trigger prob triggers problems to be worse. If it's pain, if it's problems with insomnia, if it's tinnitus, if it's ringing the ears, if it's anxiety. Are you with me? Because we're getting a sympathetic response because the sympathetic system is overwhelming or overconquering the parasympathetic. So if you look at the sympathetic nerves, uh, this is our heightened activity. This is stimulating, uh, actually it's shutting off the vagus nerve. And what it does, it causes inflammatory changes in the cells and it reduces the activity of the immune system. And so the purpose that we're after today is to stimulate the vagus nerve because the majority of those nerves controls the involuntary parts of our body. And by stimulating the vagus nerve or this parasympathetic system, this is going to wind down the tinnitus. This is going to slow down your nervous system. This is going to make those sounds start to become lessened. It's going to start to fade away more and more and more. Because the things that you're doing, which I'm about to show you, is going to allow you to recognize that the purpose and the reason why these doctors can't help you is because you're not helping yourself. So my job today is to teach you how you can help yourself to help combat this problem. Now, I've seen problems totally go away in time, many of them. Uh, but if you can reduce it, 50%, 75%, 90%, and just don't even know you have it anymore, you've done a miracle. Okay, you with me right now. All right, so here is the vagus nerve, and you can see the importance of what it does in the nervous system, how it decreases the heart rate, so it will lower the blood pressure. It does help regulate uh, homeostasis within the liver, the gut, uh, the, the gut motility. It helps with people who are constipated a lot. Guess what? Too much sympathetic nervous system. Uh, people who have more pain uh, are notice, noticing that uh, the vagus nerve is, is not going to uh, suppress this. It's, not gonna, it's gonna increase the sympathetic, which is gonna cause more inflammation. Uh, the brain activity, so people who have more anxiety and depression are not going to uh, have this vagus nerve working. So this is, we wanna suppress it. Uh, you can look at that there. But let's go here. Obviously, the first thing is confusion, uh, being unclear in life, just not really understanding what's going on a lot, and you're kind of confused. Well, what you're doing is you're increasing the sympathetic nervous system. And by doing that, you are uh, making yourself more depressed. Uh, you are having more uh, fear. Uh, you're having more stress. It may be from, like I say, bills, your health, uh, anxiety, problems, overworking, problems in your household, maybe self-esteem problems. And then we start to panic and we get more anxiety. And this anxiety just keeps building on the sympathetic system where now we're taking away from that parasympathetic, the vagus nerve is not being helped and it gets louder. So when we go forward and we see that we're not sleeping. Well, that is number one. I would say that the majority of people in the studies that I've come across is insomnia, lack of sleep, makes tinnitus worse. 
always makes it worse. But I understand that the anxiety, the other conditions that are going along in life, the stresses, the depression, the fears, all attribute to insomnia. So as we look here, the next thing I want to talk about is sugar. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. You can look at my videos on this, but sugar causes inflammation. Inflammation affects the entire body, the entire system, and tinnitus is, is directly related to inflammation. Any symptom of miscommunication, any symptom of something that's not working correctly is all tied into inflammation, heart disease, diabetes, anything. Okay? Lots of tension. I don't want people doing this because this is not healthy. Now, when you're in a lot of pain, that will make it worse. Pain causes other symptoms as well. So this takes us to a couple of things. Relaxation. Go to a beach. Take time out. Very important. Go take time out. Go to a park. Take your, your friends, your family. Ride a bike. Walk the trails, whatever you're doing. Spend time. Meditate. Slow the system down. Tap into the parasympathetic, into that vagal nerve stimulation. That's supplying the heart, your blood pressure, your pulse rate. It's supplying, it's increasing endorphins and kephalons in the system. Swim. The, one of the best exercises, increasing aerobic activity, increasing the heart rate, increasing endorphins, increasing mobility in the joints, increases blood supply, increasing synovial fluid, increasing better function throughout your joints. Another study shows just gargling in the back of the throat uh, stimulates the vagus nerve. Try it. Just by stimulating that vagus nerve can help changes in your nervous system. Very important. As I move here, we talk about just taking walks, relaxing the body, seeing nature. All these kind of things are going to help your tinnitus. You're saying, well, how is it going to help it? Because you're stimulating the parasympathetic system. The more time you can get away from those stressful things, the anxiety things, the fearful things, and reverse the nervous system, the better off you're going to be. If you want to go out and just shake it, dance, sing, all going to help you. Massage, excellent. Stimulating the parasympathetic system. Take time out and get massaged. Studies show getting in coldness, be shocking your system. Cold showers help stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. Running out, walking, a slow jog, whatever it is, helps stimulate it. Going out and singing, chanting, all these things stimulates it. Uh, the mantra chanting, uh, the, the singing. Uh, the top of your lungs, the muscles in the back of your throat. Again, I tell you what, if you gargle, if you sing, you're stimulating the activity of the vagus nerve. And that vagus nerve has been found to increase uh, oxytocin, which is known as the love hormone that makes people feel closer to one another. So that's why when people sing, they get emotional. They feel like they're more loving and it will actually stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. I love this in the background. These are the go-go girls. Well, if you got to put your music on and do that, go for it because that's going to stimulate that parasympathetic nervous system. We're finishing up, guys, girls. Uh, listening to, to soft music. There's a lot of great music on there for tinnitus, uh, different tones, different uh, streams. Uh, there's a lot of great uh, things you can put on. You can search tinnitus in your uh, your phone, your, your smartphone, you'll get a lot of great music you can listen to at night. Uh, deep breathing uh, is excellent, slowing down the, the, the heart rate and everything else, as well as yoga. Great, great, great for you. I cannot stress it more than anything in the whole world. So we go back to one thing. This is our mission. Our mission here is to stimulate the parasympathetic system. Life is not easy, and God didn't make life so easy for us because he puts us to the challenge. But everything you've done today or in the past, you've succeeded. You're here today. Whatever you've done, you've already passed those obstacles. As hard as things were in your life, you made it, and you'll continue to make it. So I ask all of you to have perseverance because as someone mentions how to reduce hyperacusis, 
uh, uh, when, when you have this stimulation, uh, this hyperacusis is just increased sensitivity, goes hand in hand with tinnitus. It works the same way. And what I'm telling you, it goes for hyperacusis, it goes for tinnitus, it goes for ringing in the ears, it goes for hissing in the ears. By stimulating the autonomic nervous system, particularly the parasympathetic system, is going to help you. I can promise it's going to help you because this is worsened by sympathetic response, fight or flight, stress, anxiety, uh, irritability, uh, depression, lack of sleep. All this makes it worse. So I hope this really helps you. I pray it helps you. I ask you to share this video. Please subscribe to get a lot more great videos like these. Check out my channel, Motivational Doc. Check me out on Facebook, Motivational Doc. I appreciate your reviews. And if you haven't left one, please do so. If you are a regular listener here, I would really appreciate that. Uh, but most important, share this information with others because it's all about helping others. I wish everyone peace, love, a lot of great health. And uh, I tell everyone, and I'm asking you as well, make it a great day. We'll catch up with you real soon on our next video. Bye-bye now.